Okay, so uh, something I didn't realize before was that uh, I'm in the uh, quick draw contours and I have display on and I have community contours on. So, and it will show these representations of that we're at four feet here because it's getting that information from the, from the quick draw from the community. So if I go here and go quick draw contours, even if I turn display off, okay, the numbers remain the same. It's saying that this line here is four feet, four, five, six. So, so let's go back again to the menu the quick draw contours and even with display on if I turn the community contours off then and only then will the uh, the amount of uh, offset that's been added because of the uh, the community input change so it's a change from four feet where we just were to six feet so um, even though we're in the exact same spot, the exact area, so uh, there's a little bit of a learning curve there. Just because you turn display on or off does not mean that these won't take effect. You can, this will still show the, uh, weight, the uh, depths of community contours added if that's checked, even if the display is off. So go figure. Okay, so now uh, user contours, if I tell it to do user contours, what will it show there? And I guess that's, uh, this is what I've uh, actually surveyed myself. And you can see that it's, uh, it's not showing up there, is it? It's covered up by something. I think because I'm I'm recording right now. Let me try that again. Quick draw contours. Stop recording. Okay. So so you can see we're on display the user contours, and we're gonna go back. And I don't know. It says uh, I guess. This is my line here for my survey. Six, five, um, six, five, six, right there. Six, five, three, and, okay, so it looks like down in here. I'm not sure why that's shaded like that, but, this area is, you know, it's showing that it's uh, between one and two feet. So, um, I'm going to turn the panning off. Okay. Um, still got the learning curve going here. So, I'm going to turn display off. Fishing chart. And then we're gonna go here, quick draw contours, going to display user contours. Okay, so we just saw them change, that was six right there, and it just changed down to one, one and two. Um, and why that area is shaded like that, I guess because it's too low for, for uh, maybe probing. Uh, we're surveying or getting a reading on I guess maybe less than two feet or something. Oh, it's showing one foot here. One, two, three, four. So we're inside that. Let me let me bring the boat to the out a little bit deeper here. Or a little bit this way down south and see what shows up there. Okay, so I guess I could do this for a long time. I probably need to learn even more more about this here. You can see that the depth has changed. Uh, so we're up to 2.6 feet. Uh, when the survey that I just took is showing that it's probably one foot, you know, so. Don't know why that is. Um, 
it might have something to do with this offset here but being off by a foot the wrong way the saying that it's uh, uh, shallower than it actually is uh, would be um, let's see water let's do the depth shading So I put the depth shading on, and I have it set from zero to two feet that you're going to get, uh, zero to three feet rather, you're going to get red. And I guess this green means it's, it's too low to even register. So, who knows? Learning curve. So a lot to be said here, but once again, home, charts, navigation chart. Now it shows the same because I have this quick draw contours turned on for the user contours. If I turn that off, go back, put display, turn that off, go back, and go just go to the navigation chart. It's showing this from the navigation chart to be between three and four, between the three and four foot mark. And we're actually at the real reading from the transducer is a 2.2 or whatever so anyway good luck with this <laughs> so we'll try another spot here deeper <laughs>